Kentucky man who used movie prop money to buy pickup trucks sentenced to prison. A Kentucky man who used movie prop money to buy a pickup truck and other items has been sentenced to four years and four months in federal prison. A judge also fined Timothy Noble, this is the man, $8,200. Noble, 35, of Melbourne in Campbell County, located in northern Kentucky, had been in custody for a year before he was sentenced and received credit for that time, leaving his remaining sentence to at 40 months, according to uh, court documents. Using a fake name, Mobile, and this is how he did it, y'all. Using a fake name, Noble responded to an advertisement on Facebook Marketplace for a 2004 Chevrolet Avalanche in, or Avalanche in April 2022. The seller agreed to take $4,700 for the vehicle, but discovered after Noble left with the truck, that he gave him six real $100 bills, so $600, and then 41 fake ones. So the guy only had, really, he got a whole truck for only 600 bucks. Noble used movie prop money he bought through Amazon two weeks after buying the truck. And y'all don't, don't think y'all could do this too, y'all, okay? Two weeks after buying the truck, Noble used fake money to buy a trailer in Ohio using the truck to... T- using the truck to tow it and then bought another trailer with counterfeit money two days later in another ohio county that same day noble tried to use fake money for another purchase but the seller recognized the cash was not real and reported the incident to police who found noble in a pickup truck with more than 20 with more than twenty six thousand dollars in counterfeit bills wow noble told police he did not try to pass the fake bills at the gas station because the clerks come on they handle money often they got the little pin they got all that stuff uh because the clerks handled money enough to spot counterfeit bills then regretfully acknowledged that he just told on himself (laughs) the conviction in federal court was noble's 11th one one theft related conviction with other cases still pending. Y'all, this is, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Why are these people out? Noble's attorney, Stephanie Durstock, said in a court document that he had a long history of substance abuse and was using heroin, Percocet, and Xanax daily when he was arrested. You see, y'all. So, essentially, she just said, oh, well, you know, I mean, he needs sympathy because, I mean, he's on drugs. And, I mean, what else was he supposed to do? I don't know. Not use counterfeit bills. I don't know. How about get a job and pay for this stuff? You know, come on, y'all. Yeah, be thinking that y'all could just come out here and start scamming people left and right. That's the kind of stuff that really irritates me is when people be doing that. But let me know what you all think about this story down below.